heard Dr. Jayanti Kumaresh, a leading Vainika, a leading Veena player in contemporary Carnatic music. We have used this clip with her kind permission. What she played was a Raga Alapana in the Raga Keravani. Now as we have seen in the earlier sessions, the music is melodic. The music is created by arranging notes one after another. In cons consecutively. But as was evident, it is not just a succession of notes, it's much more than that. There was considerable variation. There was variation in tempo, there was variation in loudness and softness, there was Long notes were contrasted with notes clustered together. There were pauses, there were gaps, there were shakes and oscillations and trills and curves. All of this is a very deliberate and stylized way of arranging notes, of treating notes, which marks it out as Carnatic music. Now, what is it about the seven notes that we hear so much about? Let's take a hard look at what is called this musical material. It is common knowledge that we have seven notes or seven swaras. What is a note? A note is a frequency. It, and frequency, as you would all know, is the basic fundamental property of sound. But not all frequencies are notes because the, the perceptual element is also very much a part of the concept of swara. So, uh, this is definitely a swara, a note, and it has a certain frequency. But if the frequency were just a little higher than this, very infinitesimally higher than this, it's quite likely that most human ears won't be able to discern that it is a, dis it's a different frequency and it won't be given the status of another note. So a note, a swara, a musical note is a frequency but it has to be perceived as such. 
so it is actually a psychoacoustical property of sound. Now, as I said, we have seven notes, Saptaswara. Sarigama Padani. These are the seven notes we can say. And this particular set of notes is called the major scale in Western music and it is also a very important scale in Hindustani music as well as in Carnatic music. In fact, in Carnatic music this scale um, is associated with a major raga called Shankara Bharana. Now, so taking this as a reference point, since this is universally used, very widely used, very well known in many musical systems, let us see what Dr. Jayanti played. Now, what she played the notes that she used are also Sarigama Padhani. What she played was Sa Sarigama Padhani Sarigama Padhani which is not the same as the major scale. The major scale goes as Sarigama Padhani is what Dr. Jainti played was Sarigama Padhani. The difference may be a bit subtle for novices to make out, but the the ga and the dha, the third and the sixth notes, they are different in these two scales. Sarigama. This is the major scale. And what Dr. Jayanti played, the Keravani scale is Sarigama, Sarigama, Sarigama. So the ga is different. So anybody at all with uh, basic training in music will know that though we speak of seven notes, seven swaras, there are five other notes which are spoken of as a variance of five of these seven notes. So we say Sarigama Padhani of these Sa and Pa have no variance and therefore they are called Achala Swaras. They do not move Achala Swaras. Whereas Rigama Dhani each has one variant and this variant Swara is called Vikrita Swara. So, we have seven Swaras and five variant Swaras taking the total to twelve what is called Swarasthana. We do not say there are twelve Swaras, we say there are twelve Swarasthanas. There is twelve positions which can be occupied by a Swara. There are very good reasons for not calling them twelve Swaras. We will look at it very shortly. Now, in order to demonstrate these 12 Swarasthanas, let me uh, use a keyboard. Now, I would also like to emphasize that a keyboard is far from an ideal instrument for Carnatic music. Why I am using it is only because what I have to demonstrate is just the swarasthanas, the notes that are there and also because it is very easily available. It should be accessible to most people, we even have online versions of the keyboard. So, I will demonstrate a bit these 12 swarasthanas on the keyboard. So, here I have a very small keyboard uh, with 3 octaves. Uh, the advantage of the keyboard is also that you can actually see there is a visual counterpart to these swaras. So, as I punch the key, you know, each key corresponds to one swara. So, in many ways, this is ideal for demonstrating the number of swaras or tones or notes. Now, suppose we start with this and let us play the major scale.
this is the major scale now let us see the other nodes that are uh, there in this range so the first is this is the re this is the second sura but actually there is a variant of this which is the vikrita is so for convenience all these notes have technical terms in carnatic music but for convenience sake we also refer to them as re1 and re2 this is re1 this is re2 now the ga in the major scale is actually g2 and there is a variant of this here ma when and ma to and so on for pa as i said is a invariant it's not a variant does not have a variant sa and pa are achala swaras they have no variants so sa pa also has no variant again dha there are two this is dha and this is a dha again this is a ni and this is a ni the seven notes and there are five variants we have sa and pa which are achala swaras they don't move we have re1 re2 ga1 ga2 ma1 ma2 then pa of course which has no variant dha1 dha2 ni1 ni2 and this is how we have the scheme of 12 note positions swarasthanas we have 12 swarasthanas or 12 tones as it is called the same so, so this is the end of the scale and we have 12 swarasthanas within it and i don't need to tell you that it doesn't sound musical at all if you play all these 12 in this way we may use this kind of music in some situations in a movie or something when we want to suggest that something particularly unpleasant is going to happen but otherwise it's really not musical to use these 12 notes like this now the veena is a traditional mus yeah. uh, musical instrument in carnatic music and i'm going to now show you a clip from a demonstration on the veena by dr r s jay lakshmi she gave us this demonstration for this course and here she is taking what may be called the basic scale in carnatic music it is basic in the sense that beginners are introduced to this scale there's a first scale that you learn in carnatic music is this scale and it's called maya mala bagaule the veena and like the keyboard it's quite the contrast of keyboard the veena is a quintessential carnatic music instrument it is an ancient indian instrument and it is eminently suited to demonstrate to listen to carnatic music on so let us watch this clip where dr jayalakshmi demonstrates how the scale of maya mala gaulish sounds and how the 12 12 notes 12 swarasthanas
can be found on the Veena fretboard. Interestingly, she also plays another scale and between these two scales Maya Madhavagode and Hemavati, all the 12 Swarasthanas are covered. So, let us watch it now. Introduction of the seven notes to the students. Up seven notes in Cholte eight was created or completion ago. One octave starts from sa to sa or flooring and ceiling. Madri Adida and the sa or octave cover pandred. So on the seven notes, plaina was a kerche. வரைடிஸ்ல this is the first variety of ga this is the second variety of ma there is no variety for sa and pa this is the second variety of daivatam this is the first variety of nishadam ipo adhaadhu enna solradhu indha mayamalu golai scale la irukra ella notes yume adoda adutha variety ah maathina oru ragam varum this ragam is called hemavati ipo idu mottaya scale ah vasikirom like the keyboard the veena also has the advantage of offering a visual of the note that is being played each fret on the fretboard of the veena corresponds to a swara, a note. Now, we have seen both on the keyboard and on the veena how there are 12 swaras. Though we speak of 7, there are actually 7 plus 5 and we say that there are 12 swarasthanas. Now, the question would be, why don't we say that there are 12 swaras and be done with it? Why must we say that there are 7 swaras and 5 variants? Now, the straightforward answer to this is, the obvious answer to this would be that that is how it is in practice. And it, this cannot be emphasized enough that what we are doing here, talking about music, theorizing about music, this entirely follows practice. Practice very rarely draws from theory and theory is only an attempt to explain uh, the practice of music and in practice musicians speak of seven swaras and their variants and they do so for very good reasons because combining seven swaras in various ways very often yields meaningful music. Music making is very possible when we have seven swaras at our disposal. Whereas a combination of these twelve swarasthanas as we just saw results in cacophony. It is very difficult to create meaningful music out of twelve swarasthanas using all of them together. Now, what music practice does is that of these 12 swarasthanas, 7 of them are made primary and 5 of them are made 
their variants suggesting that the both variants of a single note may not normally be used. That is the suggestion here. Music is made with one of the variants of Re, Ga, Ma, Dha, Ni. And we must acknowledge a general principle here of music making that notes that are very close to each other such as this, they don't for instance this. These are very close as well as the positions on the, on the keyboard as you can see are very close. This kind of combination of notes that are very close to each other, it, it does not make pleasant music. And um, having said this again, I must also point out that we do use notes that are very close to each other all the time, but too much of it is well, it will be too much. And as a matter of fact, as we will see later, there are ragas in Indian classical, in Carnatic music especially, that use both varieties of the same note. For instance, da 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 Now, this is actually using two variants of the same note. Ga ga ma ga ma ga ga sa. This kind of uh, ragas we have a significant number of such ragas and some of you out there who have some exposure to Carnatic music would no doubt have heard of Vivadi ragas and this is what a Vivadi raga is. But when more such dual notes come into the picture, it becomes very challenging to create meaningful melodies out of them. 